welcome in their general manager, John Chaika. And I know it's got to be a thrill for you and this team and that whole fan base to be back in with a chance to claim Lord Stanley's Cup. When you were first hired, there was so much attention on your age, being in the mid-20s, youngest GM hired ever. Now, the focus is on being one of the 24. How does it feel? Yeah, thanks for having me. No, it's exciting. Honestly, everyone, uh, fan base, it's uh, in the city. They're starting to talk about it. There's a buzz going. You know, we're excited to get back to phase two here and provide a safe place for guys to get trained again. So it's it's uh, it's fun. You see some of these uh, hockey highlights again and uh, gets the juices flowing. So, you know, talk will uh, get the guy, have the guys ready. And, uh, you know, I think talking to the players, they've uh, they've done their best to stay in as best shape they can. And I think, uh, I think we're a group that's got a lot to prove. Uh, so I think we'll be a motivated group coming back and have uh, an exciting series against a good team in Nashville. Rick Tockett is great at many things, motivation among them. Your team, the 11th seed, you'll face the 6th seed in the Nashville Predators, a team that you split with this year, your mindset when you saw the matchup as it materialized. Yeah, no, I think, you know, the seeds don't matter as, as much, especially, you know, it's a tight group uh, that we were a part of. And um, so, and you know, the, the, it's just parody in the league, but, uh, I think we got a lot of respect for D David Coyle, uh, you know, the, the organization he runs. Obviously, this is a core of a team that, uh, you know, went to the Stanley Cup Finals not too long ago. So, so they're going to be a tough test, and it's going to be a good series. I think all these series I look at, and, um, you know, it's going to be a key play here or there. It's going to be a great performance by some players here or there. That would probably be a different. So, like I said, you know, I think, we're more of a group. It's not just uh, you know younger guys that are coming in trying to you know prove themselves. I think we got some guys, Ekman Larson, Taylor Hall, you know Phil Kessel. These are guys that that want to you know take that next step, and and uh, you know they always got something to prove. So you know for that reason, I'm excited for these guys. It's an opportunity to showcase what they can do, and and uh, I think it's going to be a fun series. It's, uh, it's it'll be a close competitive series for sure. You've mentioned Taylor Hall. Let me hit you with a really hard question that I'm sure no one has asked you yet. He's a UFA to be. He's a former Hart Trophy winner. Are you hoping that he remains a Coyote? Yeah, of course. I mean, you just described him. He's a, he's a top player. He's a former Hart Trophy guy. So I'd be lying if I said, you know, that our, our you know plan A is certainly to get Taylor signed here long term. I mean, he's a, he's a special player. Um, you know, he's fun to watch. Uh, he came in here. Uh, most nights he was our, our best player, he made an impact. He's a guy that has a lot of skill, a lot of talent, but he also appreciates how hard he plays and he plays the inside of the ice. So, um, you know, we saw that here first firsthand and he could be a difference maker. So I talked to him, uh, you know, early this week and we had a really good discussion. I think he's uh, done his best to stay in as good a shape as possible. I know he's focused on this, this upcoming series. And like I said, he's a guy that, um, you know, he always got a chip on his shoulder, feels like he's got some things to show. and, and uh, you know, I, I told him, you know, we're in the same boat. So in that sense, you know, we're aligned, we're motivated as well, and, and hopefully we can help each other out. The Yotes are hungry. There's no doubt about that. The Hall trade sent shockwaves around the entire league, around the whole hockey world. As things progressed and the league went on pause, it raised a lot of questions about conditions on draft picks and, and on trades. With the Hall situation, with the draft looming, What's your mindset? What are you thinking? Because this is a season unlike any other. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, I try not to overthink some things. We got a chance to play in tournament style for a you know, Stanley Cup. I think it's a great opportunity of a lifetime, perhaps. And uh, yeah, everyone wants to maybe look at some of the downsides of these things and the unpredictability and stuff like that. I think it's going to be great hockey. I think it's going to be super exciting for fans. I think the return is going to have a, a healing way with our, our you know, cities and fan bases and, and be a source of people coming together. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So those are the things I'm focused on. You know, like I said, as a group, it's a chance to play in a series, an elimination series against a good club that, that's going to be a good litmus test for where we're at as an organization. So that's where I put all my effort and focus and thoughts towards. And I think, like I said, I think it's going to be a, you know, a great opportunity for the league to showcase what we're about and what we can provide from a uh, you know, content standpoint. And uh, I think people are going to watch this at record ratings. I really do. So I think it's going to be compelling, um, you know, series and, and uh, format. And uh, we're just excited to get back skating, like I said, hopefully in the near future here and, and start that uh, journey ahead. I like that you use the word healing. We've seen hockey do that before. And here's to that idea. 
as a general manager, among your responsibilities is the draft. Because this year has been so different in terms of preparation for the draft, what adjustments have you had to make? Well, uh, you know, I think it's it's the 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 the, the data sets changed in terms of not having that uh, you know playoff uh, information and some of these tournaments. You know, that's probably the biggest change. But otherwise, you know, you, you have your online uh, scouting meetings. Those are a bit different, perhaps, than, than in person. But I mean, technology now is amazing, so you can get a lot done. Um, I think again, it's the drafts. You got to find good players and. Uh, it's a tough thing to do. Um, the draft is very unpredictable historically, uh, but if you if you if you do a good job um, and you collect the right information and you make the right decisions, uh, you can find players in the draft no matter where you're selecting. And uh, you know, Connor Garland's an example of that for us, where he's a guy that we got in the late round that can come in and be a core guy for us, not only on the ice but but off the ice as well. So you know, we look at it uh, like we're going to have right now. We get five picks. We're going to take those picks and. Uh, you know, do the best we can to find as many good players for the future of this franchise, and uh, we'll go from there. It is an exciting time for your franchise. We really appreciate you joining us. Good luck to you and the Yotes moving forward.